Good morning, everyone. It's time to wake up with Chatter. Live from New York City, I'm Baker Bachata. And I'm Hannah Doba. Today is February 22nd, 2023. Also National Margarita mm, Day. Yes. A holiday I can totally get Me behind. Too. I love that. Which is fitting because in the eight hour, we'll be talking about frozen boozy treats with Tipsy Scoops. I love Tipsy Scoops. Yes, exactly. Great the round. only problem is, is I don't know if it's enough to make me really tipsy. Maybe but that's maybe eat good. more of it. <laughs> yes, or yeah. maybe that's good. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't right. be drunk at work, as usual, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get to this morning's Need to Know headlines. 20 Coming up, it's National Margarita Day, so we are celebrating early this morning with our friends at Tipsy Scoop and Margaritaville. Plus, find out how you can go on a micro vacation to Margaritaville at sea. There's more Wake Up With Cheddar after a quick break. Welcome back to Cheddar News. I'm Hannah Doba from Cheddar Studios in New York City. And I'm Baker Machado. Happy National what, Margarita am I Day. Sneak, like, what is oh, going yes, on here, right now? Okay, all right. It is National Margarita Day, and we never pass up the chance to have a sweet <laughs> treat here on Wake Up With Cheddar. So we have Melissa Tabs, founder and CEO of Tipsy Scoop, and Amanda Travaglini, Vice President of Marketing at Margaritaville at Sea to discuss your new collaboration. Ladies, welcome. Hi, guys. Hey. Thanks so much for joining us. So, man, I'm going to start with you in honor of National Margarita Day. Walk us through how to make one of these margarita tipsy scoop cocktails that people can't stop talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're going to start with a shaker full of ice. Okay. If you don't have a shaker at home, you can just use two cups, pour it back and forth. Sure. Then you're going to want one and a half ounces of high quality tequila. Very mm -hmm. important. Very important. important. Most important, some would yes. say. Absolutely. A little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice. Yeah. Yep. Throw that in there. Fresh squeeze, the most important part of that. Absolutely. The fresher, the better. And then you're going to take a sweetener. So I have agave nectar here. Mm -hmm. You can use a little bit of simple syrup or even just some honey thinned out with water if you don't have that. Um, and then to match the beautiful blue of the margarita, the ice cream that Melissa created for yes. us, we're going to throw in some blue curacao as well. Ooh. Okay, so. no. Now, while she's shaking this up, yeah. Melissa, let's talk about this collaboration. What are the two flavors you guys created for Margaritaville at Sea? Yeah, so we created two flavors for Margaritaville at Sea. We have a blue margarita, which is vegan and dairy-free. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so it's uh, very similar to the cocktail, blue carousel, the Margaritaville spirits, uh, silver tequila, a little lime, and salt. Mm -hmm. And really there's delicious. the uh, recipe right there for our viewers right at home. Yes, yeah, and then uh, Bahama Mama, which is so delicious. Yeah, it looks it so is an ice cream base for that one. Well, I'm gonna uh, taste the Bahama Mama. Wait, so let's Mama. Just show yeah. our viewers this yeah. one. And by the way, if, yeah. uh, for our viewers uh, who have not experienced any of this, what can people expect from Margaritaville at the Sea Experience mm -hmm. here? Yeah, Margaritaville at Sea is a really unique concept to the cruising industry. Yum. We're the only cruise line that sails three-day, two-night itineraries from the Port of Palm Beach to Grand Bahama Island. So it's a perfect little micro vacation if you want to get away, you want to escape the cold weather, but you don't have an entire week's worth of vacation to devote to it. Uh, we're completely Jimmy Buffett inspired. We have tons of live entertainment, five restaurants, eight bars and lounges. So you can come and like fill your heart's desire with all the margaritas that you want. Ooh. Uh, we even have a, a, a casino, the Margaritaville Casino that just opened and you've got live sports games, slots. Um, it's really exciting. So we, we it's top to bottom, totally fun and a nice just little micro vacation. I love that. Melissa, you know, your company is known for blending ice cream and alcohol. Which we're having right now. And delicious. <laughs> yes. How do you come up with the perfect flavor? Um, so we usually start with a cocktail that we're inspired by mm. or work with great partners like Margarita Bill at Sea and kind of become inspired by the location in that case. Um, but all of the ice creams are around 16% butter fat, so that allows oh. them to hold like the alcohol content while, while also maintaining that like creamy ice cream consistency that we know and love. Um, guys, we're almost out of time, but really quickly, how do you like your margarita since it's National Margarita Day? Do you like it frozen on the rocks or do you like it as ice cream? Ooh. Now, now you have a third choice. Scoop. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to say ice cream, too. Oh, I love it on the rocks, always. Mm -hmm. I do get it on the rocks, yeah, too. It's a little bit, you have to have the original. Yes. Um, well, thanks, of course, to Melissa from Tipsy Scoop and Amanda from Margaritaville for celebrating National Margarita Day with us this morning, cheers, guys. Thank everybody. you. And cheers, cheers to you guys. Thank you.